in one of his states. He so determined to make this nation free from the colonizer and the Dutch. He was never afraid giving his opinions against the Dutch. If you exalt me, even if you want to do evil power this work, my body will be in jail, but my spirit will be free. You know the Dutch. They exalt him to share about places to the gold in Papua and the Indusa Tugara and Bambu South Sumatra. What about Sukarno? He witnessed the society condition, he witnessed the pain, he believed and he always believed that one day Indonesia will be free from the colonizer. In his exile, he ruled and took everything about this issue. And not only that, when he was in Bambu, he met a beautiful daughter of one leader in What her name is? Her name is Fatma. When the first time we have met, I know I think I love you. But it's not right because you're young and I have what to do. I cannot thank my feelings for the special girl like you. Oh, Fatma Wati bin Hassan, would you be mine too? Actually, I love you. I think I love you. But thinking as now is all about you. We still have wives to come along. Oh, what will you do? You were swearing a good way, and I'm with you. In short, Sukarno married with Fatma Wati. She always supported him. Not only physical, but also mentally. In his hard time, Fatma Wati was always beside him. And the Japanese colonization was about to end. Sukarno and the Yans group was ready to declare the independence of Indonesia until they attacked Sukarno on 50 August 1945 on Renas Denglong. All, all agreed to declare the independence of Indonesia on 17 August 1945. Others gave message to leaders around Indonesia about the preparation. Sayuti Mali typed the proclamation text. Excuse me, Mr. Sukarno. We have to leave this place. You have to come with me. Please, Mr. Sukarno, this is for you. This is for Indonesia. Set Kana as the one of your school. They want to make Sukarno and Fahmati have clear mind and decided the independence of Indonesia 